Hello there, welcome to this uh, learning tutorial. In this learning tutorial, I'll quickly show you how to create animated uh, scrolling text for our website banner using a software called Adobe Flash version CS4. Now, in this tutorial, we've got some learning objectives here. We have actually got two learning objectives. The first one, we are going to know what Flash software is and what it's used for. Then secondly, we are going to learn how to use Flash version CS4 to create simple animated scrolling text that can be used on a website banner. Now before we actually continue, I need to actually f first uh, tell you what Flash software is. Flash is a software that is used to create animation. Now when I actually talk about animation, I'm talking about something like you can see on screen. That text that is going across uh, the screen that is going across the website banner is an example of what uh, Flash can do. You can see lots of different animations on different websites. So that is what Flash software is used for. So what we are going to do, we are going to learn how to create such a kind of animated uh, scrolling text. Now, what I'm actually having here, I've got a simple exercise. The exercise I've got is, in this task, you are going to create uh, animated scoring text and in particular we are going to use a uh, version CS4 software for Flash because there are different versions so if you say things that are different from what you've got it means we've got different versions so the actual task is in this task you are going to create a simple animated scoring text that can be used on a website banner now the details we are going to be using are the actual text that is going to be moving across the screen is welcome to ICT.com. Now the size of our banner is going to be 940 by 60 pixels. And what we also need to do is our scrolling text has to be continuous. It will never stop like you have seen in the website I've just shown you. That is we are going to try to do something as shown on that screen. Although my illustration is going to be just one single text. So if I now go to flash now you will actually have a uh, flash on your network system. If you don't know why it is, ask your teacher to show you. When you open flash, this is what you see on screen. Now, there are many ways you can actually do the job we are going to be doing today. But I'm actually going to show you the simplest way. So when this screen comes up, click on file, new. Now, when this screen now comes up, there are many things you can see Flash can create. They can create buttons, they can create different things. So, I am really going for the quickest job here. Can you see, there are many templates. I've actually clicked on the template tab and I've gone for the full banner, which is the button I'm actually clicking on here and click OK. Now once that comes up, this is really what Flash looks like. At the beginning, you may get confused, but actually what I want you to do is be confident. I'm actually going to make this easier. Now this white space here is actually the stage. Now at the moment, if you can see, this uh, stage that we are going to be using is 468 by 60. That's not what we need. Our dimensions that we've been set should be 960 by 60 pixels. So that's what I want to do for you. There are many ways to modify this. On screen here, under the properties uh, panel, if you are using version CS4, which I'm using, it's very easy. So you can see here the size. All you need to do is click on the edit tab and you can change the dimensions here. Can I first cancel this and I show you another alternative? So I will also go to modify document. You can also do it here. But as usual, I want to go for the simplest methods. I will go back to the size here, click on edit, and it's meant to be 900 and, if you forgot, it's 940 by 60, by 60 pixels. So I will change that to 940 by 60 pixels. The pixels are there. So in your exam, please make sure you'll do what you've been asking you to do. So at the moment, that's it. Now, as you can see, that's our banner. At the moment, it's plain white. What I want to do, I want to make sure it's uh, literally more colorful than it is. So I will go and change the color to something really 
more fancy okay yellow is not really good for me i'll go for blue so really that's how my banner is going to look like so what i'm now going to do for you here is to explain another uh, something here we call keyframes and frames so all these uh, tabs you see here are the frames so what happens the text we are going to uh, make is actually going to be crossing over to this through these frames so what I want to do first is type in the message that says welcome to ICT.com so the first thing I need to do is can you make sure that your text is actually off this stage so I will go to my uh, pro uh, properties panel here you can see the tools we've got all the tools that often are in programs like Dreamweaver so you've actually seen the T here stands for text I will actually now start typing my text which is welcome to ICT.com so don't worry about the colors I will show you how to change that later welcome to ICT dot com that is my text now just uh, a brief uh, uh, guide here if you want to change your text then the quickest way is highlight the text then go to text here you can change the font whatever you want I'm actually going to stick to the font I've got uh, the size you can change the size to what you want and the style you can change to bold I'm going to go for bold so now another thing for the color you can go back to the properties panel here I'll actually go for maybe uh, blue now you can actually use the same thing you do in Dreamweaver use these uh, arrow keys to actually move your text so the best thing is always in frame one can you make sure your text is off the screen now what I'm actually going to do for you is this it is literally a simple uh, task we are going to do we are now going to say that our uh, animation is going to be from frame 1 to about frame uh, 80 it's really up to you it's up to you but remember the more frames the smoother it will be so I will now do a simple thing here I'm going to press the F6 button F6 button creates a keyframe so I'm pressing uh, the, the button F6 and you are now going to see what has happened now I'm going to edit undo I could have done this I could have gone to uh, insert sorry I no I could have gone to the frame 80 right click and then press insert keyframe but the quickest way is go to the frame you want to be in and press F6 F6 creates a keyframe now the next step we are going to do is this we are going to tell flash that when it say on frame 60 I want my animation to be on the other side now before we do that we are going to do something special that something special is called motion train now remember the keyword I put on my uh, first uh, slide this one motion train and class train so really these words are simple what actually flash is going to do it's going to create for us an illusion of movement without literally having to do anything so I'm actually going to go in between my uh, frames I've got you can see we've got 80 frames so in between is going to be about uh, 40 so I'm going to right click and I'm going to select create class twin can you see if you know you've done it you'll see this line that has come across so what I'm now going to do I'm going to go back to my frame 80 and now move this text move that text off the stage so I'll keep going just to show you what I need to do I'm going to move it off the stage so what I've done is this at frame 80 this text will be this side now if I go back to my frame 1 click on it can you see it's on the other side so now can I play for you what we've just done if I go to control play look what it's doing so that's really what we've done so what we've done first is this we went to I will do that again for you but let me first finish what we are doing I will go to the frame 80 that's not enough because we said that the text has to be 
continue so there's something extra that you have to do here so can you see where i'm actually selecting here on synchronization here under event can you see here there's a word repeat can you click on loop that will make the text to scroll non-stop so what we've now done here for the texting I, for testing i want to say play now this is what is happening so our text has been now animated so just a quick recap if i actually undo everything we've just done if i say i'll uh, right click and say remove flames i'll actually delete everything we've done and i'll create for you a new a new uh, page file new that's how it was and then i went to a simple banner which was there because it was in the right size we went to the editing section here under the size what I did is I changed it to 940 by a 60 why did I do that because that is the size I was asked, uh, asked in my question now because it was plain white I wanted to make my banner looking a bit fancy so I went here to the stage colors I chose any color that I wanted I went for my light blue here so it's entirely up to you with the colors you want to choose i could literally have chosen a uh, purple so it's entirely up to you but at the moment let me stick to my colors so the next thing i did is i went to my frame one and that's frame one i wanted to put our text so the text was here welcome to ict.com Now, once I did this, I, would, I also mentioned to you that make sure on your frame one, the text is off the stage. That's very important. Now, the next thing I said that you can actually format this text to any, any style you want using the text formatting tool. You just highlight your text. You go to the text uh, option and do anything you want. So at the moment, I'm going to stick to what I've got. Now, the next thing I said, you need to ask yourself, how many frames do you want in your project? So the more frames, the smoother it is. So I'll go for 80 here. So in my 80 uh, frame, I'm going to press F6 to create for me a keyframe. That keyframe means everything now that is going to be on a keyframe is going to create a point of change. So once I've done that, I'm going to go in between my frames. So if I've got 80 frames, the in between is going to be frame 40. So right click in between and go for an option called create class twin. If you've got a different version, you may find a different twinning option. But for version CS4, we create class twin. So now that line means that twin has actually been created. That is going to create an illusion of movement. So now in my frame 80, can you make sure you click on keyframe 80. Now move your text off to the other side. That is going to make that position to change. So I'm actually going to move my text using my arrow keys. Move it off and put it to the other side you could put it anywhere all you need to know that that movement you're doing is going to be affected so on my frame one the text is the other side on my frame 80 the text is there now i could have put frame 80 there look for example if i go back to my frame one that's where it is so it literally it's really up to you what you want to do but at the moment i want my frame 80 to be like that so now if i test for you what we've just done go to control play and look, look what it's doing at the moment so i need to first save my work so at the moment i'll go back to where it should be so i'll go to and control play and look what's happening so if i put it in the middle can you see what's happening again so i will go back to the beginning control play can you now see what's happening now just to help you before i will finish for example if i actually uh did this if i actually increase my frames so that they about 80 maybe 120 so i'll move this keyframe and i move it to maybe 120 now see what's going to happen so i'm going to play the whole thing again so control play can you see it's a bit smoother 
So what you now need to know is the more frames, the smoother your project is. So now what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to export this project so that I can use it in my Dreamweaver page. So what I need to do is file save to update my work and I'm going to call it uh, maybe practice uh, for because I've got many practices here. So I'm going to call it that as it's saving. I'm actually going to be explaining that is now a flash project. It's not yet the, the flash file that we use in our website. So what we are now going to do here, file, uh, publish. Publish is going to create a file for us. And I will show you what has happened here. We've got uh, a file here that uh, we've just uh, exported. Now can you see these red files, the dark red, are the projects you are actually working with. Now, this file here that I've actually got, uh, where is it? Uh, this one, flash four. That's the file that actually will be used in Dreamweaver. So now, if I copy this, I have got a folder here for my website. I'm actually going to put it there. I've actually got a previous file there. So now this is really the file that I'm going to use in my Dreamweaver page. And by the way, I was already prepared. I've actually got a page here and that's where my uh, animation is going to be. Now, as you know, if you haven't got this uh, technique of using AppDivs, there is another tutorial I created that shows you how to use AppDiv. So for now, I've actually created an AppDiv where my flash animation is going to be. Now all I need to do, make sure your cursor is inside your app div, go to insert uh, media, go for the SWF. SWF. Now I've got my animation here. Click OK. Just click OK. And there it is. Now click file save. Now what I'm now going to do, I'm going to preview my website. Now I've got Explorer, I've got Firefox, it's entirely up to you. Now I'm going to preview in any of my website and web pages I've got here. Now my computer is asking me, is, do you want to block this? No, I'm going to say allow this. Now can you see that's what we've just created. How easy is that? Now can you really see? Simple job. The text keeps going through non-stop. Now if you remember our job was to create an animation that goes across the page and it's saying welcome to ICT.com and it's continuous. Have we done that? Look at the website. It's now going on non-stop. So now if you've been listening to me, I want you to stop. Pause this tutorial. Go back at the beginning and try out this exercise. You can join me in other tutorials to show you more how to use Flash to create animations. But otherwise, you've seen it's pretty a simple thing to do. Now, all you need to do, pause the tutorial, go back to the concepts that you haven't understood. Thank you for listening. I hope you've gained something from this tutorial.